And meteorologist Seth Gonzalez is here with our forecast as our kids here in Broward and Monroe head back to school. Good morning. Mm -hmm. Good morning, Maribel and Francis. And happy Wednesday, happy first day of school for Broward and Monroe County students. As we look live from our Broward County camera, we're just seeing some clouds and also the same deal from our Key West camera. A little overcast, but thankfully all the storms are off to our east. We are dry, rain free on our real time Doppler radar as we check in on Broward, Miami Dade, Monroe. Monroe County, we had a few showers earlier across the upper keys, but since then those showers have dissipated and the wind fairly light out of the south through the keys, five, six miles an hour. Winds calm in Broward and Dade County, waking up to the upper 70s in Broward and Dade right now. 78 in Fort Lauderdale, 77 in Miami, 85 muggy degrees in Marathon, 86 in Key West, already feeling like the 90s down through the keys. That's how steamy it is. It feels like 81 in Fort Lauderdale. So as you get ready for school in the bus stop, make sure you have plenty of water water and we are going to also need the rain gear. Yeah, umbrella handy as we get into the middle of the day in the afternoon. Scattered storms expected around pickup time. And of course, we want to share your back to school photos. We've already seen some adorable viewer photos. Email them to cbs 4 pics at cbs.com. So this is Kaya's last first day of school. She is a senior at Pembroke Pines Charter High School. And I wanted to share a photo of my Sophia. She doesn't start school till next month. Monday, it'll be her very first day of school, and we had to get a poncho for her. That was part of her school supply list. And you know what? Those ponchos, they come in handy, especially since they're bigger and you can wear that backpack and it gives great coverage. So she was really excited. Now, as we get into the afternoon, highs in the low 90s, it's going to feel like the hundreds. So you're going to want to, of course, stay hydrated. And then with the potential for heavy rain, flooding, lightning, and gusty winds, you need that umbrella. Just like the past few days, we have plenty of moisture that will help to fuel storms. Could see the rain roll in around 11 a.m. as a model showing, but likely around lunchtime and right into 1, 2 p.m. around release time. Through the evening, we could see a few storms and lots of clouds moving in from time to time throughout the day. Boaters and advisories wind south, 10 knot seas too. Light chop on the bays. Again, this evening, there could be a few storms overnight, warm and humid. And the reason our rain chance is high today, a lot of moisture around, and that'll lack, likely be the case through Thursday, Friday. A little bit of drier through the weekend could lower the rain chance, but our temperatures will remain hot in the low 